when you go through a health scare, it changes you in a lot of unexpected ways. Um, there's the good and the bad, I think, that comes out of it. Obviously, the given good is that you are healthy and it was just a scare. But the good and the bad that comes out of the situation that I have been experiencing, that's why I wanted to make this video because like maybe other people are going through it as well, is, okay, let's, let's touch on the bad first. Um, feeling the effects from the scare in the sense of like, I guess you would call it hypochondria. So my health scare basically ran from October to the beginning of February. And that's kind of when I found out that I was healthy and I was fine. Since then, I have just been feeling very much so in the realm of like hypochondria. I feel, I worry about myself a lot. Like for example, I went to the throat doctor a couple weeks ago because I had a tonsil infection, which is a very normal thing to have. But while I'm there, I'm like venting to him about like what I went through, oversharing a little bit. And then when I went to the throat doctor for my checkup, you know, like I'm asking him like, oh, to like check different things in my throat and like, you know, he's a doctor, so he's gonna, you know, what, do what you tell him to do. And he's like really thoroughly checking my neck and everything. And he's like, you are fine. You know, I, rec I can recognize that it's not normal to go to the throat doctor and take it beyond, hey doctor, my throat hurts look at my throat and then that turns into hey can you check my throat can you feel my glands can you you know make sure I don't have something you know that is my hypochondria clicking in and um, you know they they recommend that women regardless of a health scare do um, you know monthly self checks on themselves and I've been doing them way too much and um, that is come as a result of what I've been through like I just I feel so spooked by the situation and that I went through I am finding myself I guess you would say um, fixating on my health a little bit too much um, trying to learn how to deal with that better I know it's something that just may take time and I think distraction is a good thing that's why I go to the gym and you know try to enjoy you know the sunshine and being out and then YouTube has actually been a very um, therapeutic mechanism for me to kind of like process everything that's happened you some people would say like oh putting things out on YouTube wouldn't it be the opposite it's like no for me it's always been like I don't see the people I'm talking to so it's my ability to kind of process and then see myself saying what I'm saying. You know, you'll have content creators and they do this, that, or like there's, there's times where you're like super happy doing uh, different activities, but a lot of times people don't get that there's a lot of stuff going on in the background. So I guess the main bad point that I go through pretty often now is the hypochondria. I am, I feel like I'm always worried about myself and I'm, you know, anyone should really take care of themselves, but I feel like I'm like really taking care of myself. Like I, uh, you know, I switch to a lot of like organic products. I use organic shampoo even, except for basically when I go to the hair salon, I pretty much am using all like organic products. Like I'm using like an organic deodorant. The hypochondria has been definitely a, the negative that has come out of the situation. Um, and then as I get frustrated with myself with the hypochondria, like I become irritable. So that is something I'm learning to deal with. Um, the good points I can say that have come out of the health scare, because there have been good points, has been, like as the saying goes, I have zero Fs left to give. That's how I have become. It's not that things don't bother me because I'm human. For example, like if I give you an example, like I'm at the gym and some woman I've known for like three minutes is telling me off, telling me lines like, if I was your mother 
and what are you doing with your life although in the moment it upset me and I'm human I can also like internalize and say in my head as the incident's happening like wow this woman is like a piece of crap you know like and like who does she think she is it's like and I'm able to like not internalize the word she's saying but rather say to myself like wow this is a sad woman try to have zero toxicity in my life like i'm not giving chances to people who i believe are toxic or situations that i believe are toxic it's like if i sense someone or something is toxic we're not gonna play this game of like round and round where i try to like see the good points in the person it's like life is short and if, if I perceive that this is something that's draining my life and not bringing joy to my life, I'm not, I'm not dealing with it. I'm not going to. Another thing I would do in the past a lot is, <clears throat> especially years ago, is I would go to events that were like social events that would like help you try to meet people. And these were events that I knew were awful. Like I knew that. I would come out of these events feeling like crap coming out, but I would continue to go in the hopes that like you'd meet a friend or it would just be like a good experience. And it's like, I won't do that anymore. I won't go to something and waste a day of my life knowing that the experience is bad. So I'm trying to, as much as I can, have it where my days are in my own control and that I don't do things that I don't want to do that life really truthfully is short you do not know what is going to be so I try and my best not to give people who do not matter who are toxic basically the time of day because why am I involving myself with someone who's toxic why does my life need that it's like you're not making me feel better in my life you're not aiding to my life so why do I have you in my life so there's that where I'm able to perceive, I think, the shortness of life and not allow people the time of day who don't matter. I also don't take things as seriously anymore. Again, I try to frame it like this. I'm human, so things are still going to bother me. But it's more in the sense instead of internalizing what the person is saying. It's, it's more like, wow, that's a sad, pathetic person. And it's just sad that that this is how they spend their day that they go about and they try to <clears throat> bring other people down i don't know why my voice is sounding so hoarse today it's by allergies but um yeah i do that and i would say another good point that came out of the situation was i am trying my best even when i have a day that's not great to find gratitude in the day so for example like if i have a bad day i'm able to bring myself somewhat back to a sense of gratitude by reminding myself what i went through i don't try to stay in that frame of mind obviously all the time because that's not healthy but if i'm having a bad day or something like this happens i could kind of like shift my perspective and be like oh you remember when that happened this is not the end of the world so i am trying my best to process a lot of things that have happened to me and trying to see the good in it obviously you don't want a health scare to try to like live a more fulfilled life but like uh in that sense of like just trying to be like more grateful on a day-to-day -day basis um and not take things as seriously so yeah i'm trying to use my youtube channel for a variety of things i've never I could never be that YouTuber or that content creator that only talks about one thing and you have so many channels that do that like you have channels that only do makeup or they only do fashion or they only do business advice and to be fair that probably is their passion at the end of the day but I could never do it I would literally lose my mind so you're never going to get from me like oh she posted a new video I know it's time for the fashion video or I know it's time for the makeup video it's like I would literally lose my mind you kind of just have to take my channel as it goes and be like my channel is my personality and who I am and that's what I that's what I bring to the table sometimes it's a video like this sometimes it's a video where we go to a theme park uh, sometimes it's a video like where I do fashion but it is kind of just me experiencing life documenting it 
and putting it on my channel, hence the concept of the name Nicole Approves. Just me going through life, sharing that with you, and documenting it. So that was my little video of the day. I'm going to go out now and probably go work out. And I hope you guys liked my little video. Uh, if you're not... If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe, click the notification bell. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out later in the year if I'm going to or like when I'm going to go to a theme park again. But thanks guys for watching and I will see you soon in my next video and bye.